Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, my dear friend Alyssa and I are on our way to the January Toronto Reptile Expo. I'm very excited. I have a short list of things that I want to get, so I'm very excited to have the chance. But first, we are making the important stop. The most important stop that you could ever make. That stop. So yeah, and then we're on our way. My camera is acting weird, and it says the battery is almost dead, which it shouldn't be. And then it wasn't focusing a second ago, so I can't promise you this vlog is going to be very long or very interesting, but I'm going to do my best, okay? Don't you think he's cute, that little tortoise? I like his nostrils. Don't you think? He looks angry. <laughs> Actually, he looks like a grandma. He does look like a grandma. Mm. You want a new heat mat? It's a little bigger one, I think. I have the same one, but the smaller one. Yeah. So I kind of want the bigger one. And it is cheaper here. The smaller one of this has a cost. You say it's ass? Awesome. <laughs> he said it's Stays ass. together. And yes, the smaller one is the one that I have, but I want the bigger one. <laughs> that, is that the bigger one? Yeah, that's, that's large. I have small. <laughs> so what is cheaper here? Oh my God. Bacon insects. That's one of the two Roger will eat. This, this one. Oh, oh, now I see it. I'm like trying to look where it is. Yeah. I have to buy it because it's only one. What, you know what I mean? One or two? I'll just get one because this is the big bag. There. Or do you want the little one? No, I'll get the big. I might as well get the big bag, right? Yeah. Rather than having well, to or, or, order any. I really like the foggers. I really don't know how practical it would be for a gecko, yeah. but I think they're neat. We've been here 30 seconds and I already spent $30. Woohoo! Sorry, $34. This is a zoom in. I want a polydarium. Yeah, you can pull those up if you want. This is mine now. Snicks. Look at him. Snicks. He's trying to escape. <laughs> More plants. Look at him. Look at the dark frogs. I think they're sold out. Those are the smallest things I've ever seen in my life. Babies. Frogs. This one's really trying to get out of there. <laughs> See, all the ones that I was looking at are like three times that price. Because here's the thing, I don't really necessarily want it to be bigger, I just need it to be taller. So, like the one I have at home? What do you mean? The one I got for him, the frog. Yeah, but I don't think your frog one is taller. It's Cause, cause, not as tall as that, but it's yeah. tall. Because mine is 12 by 12 by 18, and this one is 12 by 12 by 24. Hmm. I didn't even know this one existed. No. Okay, good to know. Oh, look at the little leopard gecko. Hi, babes. Hi, babes. 
He just wants to go. Oh, I like the snake. Oh, I like him. Look at him, he's so cute. I would die for the snake. <laughs> you, you would, if you met him. <laughs> You're right. This one has such a chubby little tail. But it's got such a skinny little face. I know, but the tail's like chubby and then... I like him. Like he got pinched. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what are these? They're just like little nut pods, right? Look at them! Oh, they're so cute! Look at the snake plant! <gasps> Alyssa! Look what I found! A Fetonia! Look, I'm getting so much better, I knew what it was. Before I looked at the thing! Oh, I want a Fetonia so bad! They're only five dollars! If you're a plant person, these ones are new and these are pretty cool because they're called goldfish plants. Yeah. And then if you, I don't know, there they are. It looks like a little goldfish. Oh my god, they're so cute! I'm a, I'm a wannabe plant person. I'm trying to create a green thumb where there is not one. She's the plant lady. Oh, look, beta fish things. I could buy something for Henry. Poor Henry, he never gets any love. I definitely have one of those at home. Really? Yeah. It moved. <laughs> Look at him. Is the scorpion even in there? Yeah, he's right. Oh, I'm right. afraid. Right there. You can see the blood in there. Okay. I'm gonna trust you. Because I'm slightly afraid. There's a bird. Look at how cute he is. Alyssa, he wants to come home with you. <laughs> I love them. I love them too. I like the little one in the back too. He's so little. They're all so silly. I love them. I want to look at this piece of wood specifically. Right? I feel like I like it. This is apparently a medium piece of wood. How much is the wood? I would like stand it up like that. No, I already have too much wood. Oh, no, it's okay. Okay. I already have a lot. Beardies. That's a big beardie. Mm -hmm. I kind of assumed they'd be smaller if they were in these, but I mean, all right, you do. Tordy, oh, Tordy. A bird poop frog? Come again? Oh, little Tordy. Look at him. Look at his little face. Oh, he's so cute. I like little man down here, too, though. He's just chilling, you know? <laughs> oh, he's camera shy. Hey, Alyssa, air plants. Air plants, though. Your favorite. Oh, wait, you said the whole thing is air plants. Now I understand. Wait. No, the whole thing is these grow in a terrarium? Like a like an aquarium is what I meant? Yeah, aquarium. Like for my fishy? Yeah. Should I buy a plant for my fishy? Okay. What do I use as substrate? For moss. Oh true. I don't know anything about growing plants in an aquarium. What do I do? Yeah, but in what? Here it says on the back. It says... Okay, so you just put it in. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a calathea. Those are so pretty. Look at all these 
plants you'll kill. I'm not gonna kill them, that's so mean. I like this one. I like that one. It's called boobies. It looks like a it looks like it has boobies, right? I know. What is this one? This? Yeah. Does it look like a maiden hair fern that I won't kill? It's a button fern. Oh, they have mini ones. Woo! Down there. No, oh, don't look down there. Why not? Isn't that your ferns? I think so. Yeah, don't look there. Why can't I kill... Why can't I keep ferns alive? Is what I'm saying. <laughs> this one's called the kangaroo fern. Strawberry begonia. Like this fuzzy plant here? Yeah, that's what it says. Strawberry begonia. <clears throat> but I'm already getting a begonia. Look how big the butts are. Oh, the butts. That's what you said. I was so confused. They're like 10 bucks. Get a butt. Do it and get a butt. Oh, I love them. Look at the beardies. I want a beardie so bad. I didn't even see him in there. I'm dead serious. I didn't even see him in there. I thought you saw him. No. <laughs> it's massive. Oh, I've never seen that before. Put your phone on top of the cage. Why? There's a frog. Oh, I see him. Look at him. Oh, wow. I like him. Oh, I like him. He's pretty it's big. Funny. They remind me of chickens. Like when you turn, look, <laughs> look at his head. It turns with the box. That is funny. He's got a built-in stabilizer. Yeah. What is that chameleon doing? Look at him. I know. Me trying to get dressed in the morning. <laughs> See, like these guys are the ones by us, so I can just go there. And get a leopard gecko. Yeah. Please get a leopard gecko. I want Oh, hell yeah. Giant buffalo marines? They're giant buff marines. <laughs> oh, I like them. They're so large and also in charge. Tomato frogs. Oh, I didn't think there was anything in there. Those are so cute. Oh, and I see the frogs on these containers now, too. This one's all frogs. Oh. See them? I do that's see them. I also thought that was all rock. That's one of these down below, I think, right? No, it's a Guyana marine turtle. All right. I'll take it. They have lots of little pac man. So I hope that was a fair amount of footage of what I got at the Reptile Expo. I had to start using my phone halfway through because my vlog camera decided to, I don't know, die. I've been having problems with my vlog camera a lot lately because there seems to be some, some like schmutz in the lens and because it's not a removable lens, I can't get it out. But like today, it just, it like the lens won't come out all the way. Now it won't go back in all the way as you can see because it's still open and that's like not safe. And I, like I'm thinking it might just be time to buy a new vlog camera, which is unfortunate because I haven't even had this one for very long. But I've never broken a camera before, so this is weird to me. But like, watch what happens when I hit the on button. You'll probably be able to hear it. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? And then eventually it'll just tell me to turn the camera off and on again on the screen. So that's why I don't have very much footage. But I did buy some stuff, so we're gonna go through it. I bought some wax worms. I've always wanted to try wax worms with Roger. So if you recall, I couldn't even get Roger to eat mealworms, but I'm hoping I can get him to eat him wax worm because they're so high in calories. And he looks really skinny to me. Like, I don't think you should be able to see his ribs the way you can. So I'm hoping if I can get him to eat a wax worm, it might help plump him up a little bit. And then I'll just give him a couple over the next couple of days. And then I gotta go grab the rest of the stuff and show you. But my mom bought me this cactus the other day. Isn't it so cute? I'm gonna bring it to work and put it instead of my fake cactus. <laughs> so pretty much here is the rest of what I bought. Um... You don't need to see my crickets. I bought them at PetSmart on the way back. But this is a plant bag, so we're going to pick that up. And then we're going to put this one on the ground. Because it's 
kind of heavy. So I bought some plants, and I'm really hoping they survive the trip home. Oh, okay, you, you're, you're a little banged up, but you should be okay. This is a Fetonia. I wanted a Fetonia for a while now because I just think they're so beautiful. I don't really know a whole lot about taking care of them, so I'm going to have to look that up, but I just think it's so pretty. So I bought a Fetonia, and then I bought two bags of vines, and I don't think I have enough pots for these, and I actually might not even have enough soil. Lol. Uh, but this one's a begonia vine, and then this one's a, phil a, a philodendron vine. And I just think the begonia vine is so beautiful. Like, once I can put this in the when it's bioactive terrarium, it's gonna look so nice. So that's amazing, and this is amazing. And I love my Fetonia, it looks so nice over there with all my plants. Over here. In the big bag, I bought the big Cricket Keeper because I feel like my other one is just too small. So I bought the big one, and I'm gonna set this up today because I, like I said, I just bought new crickets. And I'm looking forward to this. This is like $40 regularly at my pet stores, and I got it for only $25. That's mainly one of the main reasons why I bought it. And then, what else did we <laughs> Alright, okay. And then I bought some Quicket... Quicket Quen... Cricket Quencher, because I've never seen this in stores before. Um, I know that they have it, I've just never been able to find it. This is like water for crickets. And then I bought the big bag of the Fig and Insects Pangea Diet because this is one of the only two that Roger will actually eat. If you recall, I bought every flavor originally and he'll eat two of them, so I bought more of that. I bought a pod because I thought it was cute. And these. These are my science experiment. Here's the thing. One of my least favorite things about me is how afraid I am of bugs. I hate bugs to the extent that even thinking about them sends shivers up my spine. These worms here on my table in front of me, I hate it. And I thought I was getting better. I was watching a lot of Exotic Slayer, I was watching a lot of Dark Den, and I thought I was cool. And then today, we would like pass a table that had tarantulas for sale. Not like, not like regular tarantulas though, like the ones that have like the long skinny legs, and then like the ones from like Harry Potter, you know, like the ones with the long skinny legs and then the thicker ones up front. Just the sight of them, even like a hundred yards away from me since she was at my spine. So by buying isopods, I'm hoping I can correct this fear that I have, because isopods are harmless little babies who would never hurt anybody, and... I hope that they work. I bought the Armadillidium Klugi? Is that how you say it? I think so. I bought them from Tarantula Canada. I see a little ice spot right there. So these are going to go in a bigger container than this. Even though realistically I probably could just keep them in this because none of them are very big. And then we're just going to give them some leaf litter and the occasional like piece of carrot or whatever. And yeah, this is what I bought today. So what do I do first? <laughs> probably the cricket pen first, right? Oh my god, that little hole on the top is so small. Ooh, two handles. That's fancy. This is massive. I feel like the hole on the top is too small. On the other ones, it's like as big as the top. Okay, so I've set up a cricket enclosure on my channel before, but we're essentially doing it right now again. One full-size paper towel. How am I gonna get the crickets through that tiny little hole? The Exoterra cricket containers come with the sponge side, but because I have the cricket quencher, I'm not gonna use the sponges anymore. I'm gonna put water in one, food in the other, I think. Should I angle you down so you can see? Yes, you can see now, okay. Three in that one. Well, I mean, should there be more stuff for them to do in the middle? Like, should I put... So we're just going to take one of these uh, reusable feeding cups, and I like to just... slice them, and then, like, twist it, and place it down like that. Just so they have, like, an additional place to climb, you know? Because that's what really all Cricky wants to do. Crickies want to climb. Okay, you know what? In the other package, or the other Cricky container, I should say, I never left the tubes in because I always felt like the container wasn't big enough with the tubes in. But on this one, I feel like I can leave the tubes in. I'm going to see if I can get the top open. I can. 
Is the lid on nice and good? We're just going to let the crickets free now. Okay, this is much better. In the other container, I was afraid they were going to like... I don't like that. Well, look at this. I push on it, the whole top like goes in. Like how else am I supposed to lock it though? There we go. I'm just gonna stick the tubes in now. With that, Roger's dinner is ready to live. And Lena's TV. I'm really worried that my philodendron and my begonia vine are going to die just sitting out here. Unfortunately, these dollar store pots are all I have, but that's okay. More unfortunately, this is all the dirt I have. So we're gonna do the philodendron first because I care less about it. Oh god, I nodded this. So I've just put like a little bit in and made a little bit of a mess. I don't know if that's enough. Maybe a little bit more. What do you think? Yeah, that much more is fine. I'm going to pat it down pretty tightly. And then there's no easy way to open this, is there? The root system is down here, so I'm going to cut the bag up here. So this is clearly, to me, the bottom of this part. I'm just gonna stick that in there. <laughs> this, to me, is also supposed to be the bottom. This is how it's going in there, I don't care. We'll figure it out. Right, guys? We always do. And then this one is the big piece, I would say. No. <laughs> Never mind. How do I... Can I loop it? You know what? I'm gonna have to pull this leaf off. Yeah, that's how it has to go in. I'll just put some of their leaf juice back in there. Then we're gonna pot her up. I'm gonna pack it down pretty tight just because there's so many failure as a YouTuber. There's so many roots here. This looks like a cute little philodendron, right? Maybe it'll grow. So now for plant number two, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna pull out some dirt. Next time I go out, I'm gonna have to buy more dirt. Okay, that should be enough dirt in the bottom of that. If I let you see, that should be enough. Now let's see how the begonia, the, <laughs> the begonia does. I'm making a mess of my room. Okay, come on begonia. Let's make the hole bigger. So this is one vine with, like, a baby vine. So, how do I plant this? Where's Plantarina when I need her? Well, that's a bit ended up in there. So I'm gonna... 
goodbye leaf. I'm going to stick this in here like we did with the philodendron. I'm also going to go in here, take this little bit and just throw it in there to see what happens. We're going to pour the begonia's water in. My camera is dying. I'm having a lot of camera related issues today, eh? I'm just going to pack it down. I've got so much dirt on these stupid leaves. Okay, that should be enough for the begonia. I'm going to wipe off some of this dirt from the leaf. <laughs> Don't worry with like a wet paper towel, I think. And then I'm gonna give this a good water because I want it to grow. The philodendron I'm a little less worried about because they're kind of like an aggressive plant. Um, but I also need to clean up this mess and change my camera battery, so I will be right back. So it is the next day now, but I waited until the next day to do the rest of this video because I needed to go to the dollar store to get a container for the isopods. I wanted to move them out of that little deli cup pretty much that they were in. So I bought this Tupperware at the dollar store and I used an exacto knife and I cut out a section at the top and I put this mesh there so that there was some ventilation and I made what I consider my own mixture of substrate for in here. So it's potting soil, sphagnum moss, cocoa fiber, rectibark, bark, and some leaf litter. I wish I had sand but I just didn't. So my little isopods now live in here. I found this big carrot chunk in the fridge so I just put it in there. Hopefully they eat it before it gets gross and yeah. So anyway that's what I got at the Toronto January Reptile Expo and that's sort of the aftermath of how where I put everything and what I'm doing with them. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh yeah, and the wax worms. I tried twice to feed them to Roger and he won't eat them, so I gave them away to a friend of mine that has a bearded dragon and a toke gecko and Roger will just eat crickets from now on, I guess, and the Pangea food. And that's the real end of this video now. Bye!